Sarah Zar has done it again. This week's pick is a beautiful story that surprised me and moved me. I can't wait to tell you why. How to Save a Life didn't win me over right at the beginning. At first I thought this was going to be another one of those dual protagonist books, the kind I've ranted about in the past. Mandy and Jill are two teenagers whose lives are about to intersect in a major way. See, Jill's recently widowed mother has decided she wants to adopt another child, and Mandy has agreed to give up her unborn baby. Jill thinks the whole thing is a terrible idea. The book follows each teen's story as told in alternating chapters. That was a turnoff at first. Whose story was this anyway? But what cracked up on me was the way both characters' stories are actually one story. Jill is the protagonist, and though Mandy is on a journey too, hers serves as a catalyst for Jill's growth. Wow. How to Save a Life is a story about growth, but more than that, it's a story about how to live, how to find grace and strength after a tragedy, and then to use that grace and strength not just to save your own life, but another's. This book contends that real life means not being too afraid or too selfish to love, and for that, I love it.